Picture this, a sepia-tinted world, where television screens were more of a magical portal than a mundane piece of furniture. The year was 1951, and amidst the crackling airwaves emerged a show that would soon etch its mark into the annals of entertainment history. The Red Skelton Hour, a name that resonated like a secret whispered among friends, beckoned viewers to gather round the screen to share laughter and revel in the sheer joy of unadulterated comedy. As the title sequence unfolded, introducing the charismatic Red Skelton himself, one couldn't help but be captivated. It was an era when humor wasn't rushed, when it danced with elegance and gave ample time for hearty chuckles to echo in cozy living rooms. And oh, those memorable moments. Each episode was a treasure trove of antics, a carnival of characters that burrowed into the heart. From Clem Cadiddle Hopper's endearing klutziness to Freddy the Freeloader's poignant tales of life's vagaries, the show's sketches were like a quilt woven with threads of gaiety and reflection. But what truly set the Red Skelton Hour apart were the unexpected pearls of wisdom. Amidst the laughter, Skelton often slipped in nuggets of insight, leaving viewers not just entertained, but introspective. It was a reminder that even in the tapestry of comedy, there were shades of profundity waiting to be unraveled. Now, let's delve into the behind-the-scenes tales that paint a vivid canvas of the show's creation. Random facts that illuminate the studio's buzzing energy, the camaraderie between the cast, and the alchemy that transformed mere scripts into uproarious magic. These anecdotes reveal the meticulous dedication and boundless creativity that breathed life into those timeless moments etched in the collective memory. So, as we journey through the corridors of laughter, let's unravel the lesser-known facets that made the Red Skelton Hour an enduring masterpiece, a beacon of mirth in a bygone era. Red Skelton's enigmatic on-screen journey, a comedy maestro's struggle with scripts the 1951 TV series The Red Skelton Hour left an indelible mark on the annals of television comedy. But behind the scenes, a lesser-known drama was unfolding. Red Skelton, the iconic fundament of the era, had a reputation among comedy writers for being as enigmatic as his on-screen personas. Skelton, revered for his unique comedic style and beloved characters, harbored an aversion to collaboration with writers. CBS's insistence on incorporating writers into his show's creative process was met with palpable resistance. The comedian, confident in his understanding of his characters, yearned to script his sketches independently. This led to a quirk in his contract with CBS. His head writer, Sherwood Schwartz, stipulated that Skelton mustn't discuss the script before taping. Consequently, Skelton often found himself in the dark, unaware of the sketch premise, or even his character until moments before going live. It was a recipe for unpredictability and, at times, delightful chaos. This unpredictability bore a signature touch, Skelton's tendency to break character mid-skit, offering the audience candid admissions like, don't blame me, folks, I don't write this stuff. These ad-lib moments became emblematic of the show, endearing Skelton to viewers and adding an unscripted layer to the comedy. Despite the creative tug of war, Skelton's brilliance shone through. Just four months into the show's run, accolades poured in. Skelton clinched both the Emmy for Best Comedy Show of the Year and the prestigious title of Best Comedian. This dual victory not only affirmed his comedic prowess, but also showcased his ability to overcome behind-the-scenes challenges to deliver laughter-inducing performances. In 2009, Skelton's legacy was honored when the U.S. Postal Service unveiled a commemorative postage stamp series celebrating early U.S. television programs. Among the illustrious list of honored shows, the Red Skelton Hour held a special place. The stamp featured Skelton as his beloved character, Freddy the Freeloader, a testament to the enduring impact of his comedic personas. As the spotlight shifted between the carefully rehearsed and the spontaneous, the Red Skelton Hour resonated with audiences, leaving an unforgettable mark on the history of television comedy. Skelton's complex relationship with scripts, coupled with his innate ability to connect with viewers, transformed his show into a comedy legacy that continues to be cherished. With a career marked by both offbeat eccentricities and dazzling talent, Red Skelton's enigmatic on-screen journey remains a captivating chapter in the annals of comedy history. 1951 TV series The Red Skelton Hour, a triumph of comedy and charisma in the annals of television history. The 1951 series The Red Skelton Hour shines as a true testament to the art of comedy. 
Spanning two decades, from 1951 to 1971, the show captured hearts and tickled funny bones across the nation. With most of its run on CBS, punctuated by a brief stint on NBC, the program's popularity was undeniable. Brought to life by the charismatic Red Skelton, the series was more than just laughs. It was a cultural touchstone. Notably, the show's sponsorship by S.C. Johnson Wax added a unique flavor to its presentation. With its blend of humor and product promotion, the partnership showcased the innovative ways in which entertainment and advertising intertwined. However, the most remarkable feat of all came just four months after the show's debut. Red Skelton's comedic genius was not only appreciated by audiences, but also recognized by industry peers. In a whirlwind achievement, Skelton secured not one, but two Emmy Awards, one for Best Comedy Show of the Year and another for Best Comedian. This swift accolade solidified his place in the comedic pantheon. The Red Skelton Hour didn't just entertain, it redefined the boundaries of humor on television. The show's enduring legacy is a testament to the enduring appeal of a good laugh, an indelible character, and a performer who charmed his way into the hearts of viewers across America. The Red Skelton Hour, behind the laughter and challenges the iconic television series, The Red Skelton Hour, graced the airwaves from 1951 to 1971, becoming a beloved staple of American comedy. While it mostly found its home on CBS, it also had a brief stint on NBC, capturing the hearts of audiences across networks. At the heart of the show was Red Skelton, a comedic genius with a penchant for eccentric characters. Behind the laughter, however, lay a fascinating truth. Skelton, infamous among comedy writers, proved to be a challenging collaborator. His aversion to working with writers and his deep-seated resentment towards CBS for imposing their use on the show were well known. Skelton insisted on crafting his sketches, believing that no one understood his characters better than he did. This distinctive stance led to a peculiar arrangement. Enter Sherwood Schwartz, the head writer tasked with taming Skelton's writing dynamic. Schwartz, prior to taking the role, cunningly wove into his contract a clause forbidding Skelton from discussing scripts before taping. Consequently, Skelton often found himself in the dark unaware of sketch details and character roles until mere moments before the show aired. The result? Hilarious, unscripted moments when Skelton broke character and cheekily addressed the audience with quips like, Don't blame me, folks. I don't write this stuff. The show was further distinguished by its sponsorship, backed by S.C. Johnson Wax, a connection etched into television history. From the whimsical characters to the spontaneous humor, the Red Skelton Hour remains an enduring testament to the challenges and creativity that shaped its on-screen magic. And that's the story behind the laughter of the Red Skelton Hour, a tale of a comedian's battle for creative control and the resulting hilarity that ensued. All brought to you by S.C. Johnson Wax. It was a show that defied convention and kept audiences rolling with laughter, leaving an indelible mark on the golden age of television. Just four months into its debut in 1951, the Red Skelton Hour secured a remarkable achievement, as Red Skelton himself earned not one, but two Emmys. The accolades were bestowed upon him for the best comedy show of the year, and best comedian, a testament to the rapid and enduring popularity of the show. Skelton's quick rise to recognition within the television industry highlighted his comedic prowess and undeniable charisma, setting the stage for a remarkable run that would define the next two decades of television entertainment. Running from 1951 to 1971, the Red Skelton Hour entertained American households with its blend of slapstick humor, skits, and memorable characters. Broadcasting mainly on CBS, the show also spent a few years on NBC, solidifying its status as a staple in the American television landscape. Skelton's ability to connect with audiences across networks and time slots underscored his lasting influence on the medium. The show's impact was further immortalized in 2009, when the U.S. Postal Service honored the Red Skelton Hour by featuring the beloved comedian on a commemorative postage stamp. Among a collection of stamps celebrating early U.S. television programs, Skelton's portrayal of his iconic character, Freddy the Freeloader, was a standout representation of the show's enduring legacy. This stamp, alongside others from iconic shows like I Love Lucy, The Twilight Zone, and The Lone Ranger, paid homage to the cultural significance of television's formative years. 
With its rapid rise to acclaim, its unwavering presence on screens for two decades, and its lasting commemoration in the form of a postage stamp, the Red Skelton Hour remains an emblem of entertainment history, reminding us of the enduring power of laughter and the impact of a truly talented performer. A testament to Skelton's genius, the show's journey from accolades to lasting recognition encapsulates the spirit of an era. As we bid adieu to this virtual journey through the whimsical world of the Red Skelton Hour, let us take a moment to pause and reflect. This iconic 1951 TV series, a tapestry woven with laughter and heart, has not only entertained but also found its way into the corridors of our memories. Like cherished heirlooms, the sketches, characters, and gags have resonated across generations, uniting us in a shared experience of mirth and camaraderie. From the zany escapades of Clem Cadiddle Hopper to the poignant moments of Freddy the Freeloader, the Red Skelton Hour has artfully danced between uproarious comedy and moments of genuine emotion. It's been a compass navigating us through the spectrum of human emotions, reminding us that life's most profound lessons can often be found beneath the layers of laughter. As you embark on your own personal reminiscence of this timeless show, consider the moments that have sparked laughter in your heart or stirred a sentiment you didn't expect. The belly laughs shared with loved ones, the moments of quiet reflection that caught you off guard, or even the echoes of Red Skelton's contagious laughter that linger in the corners of your mind. These are the fragments of connection that make this show a cherished part of your narrative. So, dear friend, let your thoughts unravel and your memories blossom. We invite you to share your anecdotes, your reflections, and your favorite moments from the Red Skelton Hour. Let's celebrate the beauty of shared experiences and the timeless joy that this show has bestowed upon us. Thank you for taking this delightful stroll down memory lane with us. Your time and interest have been deeply appreciated. And now, as we part ways, let the spirit of the Red Skelton Hour continue to resonate within you, reminding you that laughter transcends time and binds us all together. With heartfelt gratitude, 